Let's do it, presidents. Yeah, Trump, you're first. Okay, why not? I mean, you will owe me a Big Mac, all right? Absolutely not, so it's all right. Cheat, okay, let's go. Bro, you sure about brutal? I'm great, Donald Trump. I eat Big Macs on breakfast. I mean, I eat lawsuits on breakfast. I mean, difficulties. Oh, f*** it. Just let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Please leave a like and sub. I mean, look at me, please. Joe, you again begging for likes and subs? Well, why not? How will we name it? Obunga. Obunga? Obunga! Sounds terrifying, all right. Yeah, like the doom of humanity. Yeah, Trump ready. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you are a new bacteria. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Select start location. Select a country to begin your plague. When you click on it, you can see more information. Pop the start bubble to confirm or click on another country instead. So where we're starting the end, boys? Are you crazy? Not USA, you bitch. Okay, what about... Australia. Are you crazy? My niece living in Australia? All right, then. Yeah, I think it's a good location. Oh, wait, I got so many friends there, I won't be starting there. I'm flying there every winter. Don't you dare start here. We got Panda from China. Are you insane, Trump? My friend currently there as a volunteer. Didn't you see the Madagascar cartoon? I think I'm going insane with you boys. My cousin got a parrot from Spain. We're flying there with Jill every year, Trump. Oh, f*** it. I'm just clicking random central part. Are you crazy, Trump? Surgeon from Germany saved my cat last year. It's getting old, you sleepy ducker. Shut your ass. No Big Mac today for you, Trumpy. Oh, really? Try to find your dementia pills then. Obunga begins in Germany. Obunga has infected its first human. Weak but used to cold temperatures, it must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Hey, do you guys remember where I left my dementia pills? Big Mac for dementia pills. Simple as that, Joe. Oh, Trump, I hate you. And I love you with all my heart, bro. Time to focus on the game, girls. Okay, so what's the plan? Tip, you can use DNA points to evolve. You have over 15 DNA points saved up. Use them to evolve Obunga and make it infect more people by pressing the disease button in the bottom left corner. Go there, Trump. What now? Top right corner. Oh, here we go. So much stuff in here, all right? Drug resistance, one. Pathogen becomes resistant to class one and two antibiotics. Increase effectiveness in wealthy countries. Okay, I think it can be useful in Germany. So it's some transmission ways we got. What do you think will be the best strategy, boys? I would advise to upgrade water and air firstly. That way we will reach the far sides of the earth. And eliminate every single human there is. I agree on that one. Symptoms, that sounds fun. Nausea, irritated stomach lining leads to discomfort. Slight chance of infection when kissing. Coughing. Chance of infection by spreading pathogen into surroundings, especially in high density, urban. Rash, the skin becomes blistered and painful, slightly increasing infectivity. Insomnia, inability to sleep makes people irritable and less productive. Not a danger for you, bitey. Shut it, bitch. Cysts, painful lumps containing pockets of the pathogen. Slight chance of bursting, which can spread disease. Anemia, decrease in red blood cells or hemoglobin in the blood can lead to hypoxia in the organs. This all is child's play. Where's the real deal? I think we will unlock it later. Okay, let's grab some DNA points and we will decide about the strategy meanwhile. Got it, bro. Okay, we got basic climate protection and birds. What should we invest next? Drug resistance to get to this rich humans who can afford them. Agreed. Insomnia symptom mutated. Obunga has mutated and developed the insomnia symptom without using DNA points. Now people irritable and less productive. Joe sleeps all the time. How come he's still so irritable, Barack? Cause yesterday you brought me caramel ice cream when I told you that I want strawberry jam. Oh, come on, you don't really remember what you told me. Yes, but by the time you brought that ice cream, I wanted strawberry jam, all right? I hate you, Joe. Love you, Trumpy. Where will we invest now, gentlemen? How about investing in ice cream companies? He's talking about the bacteria, Joe. Let's go with air transmission. No human will escape then. Done and done, bro. Look, cis mutated. Beautiful. 
We got seven DNA points. I think we will invest it in the symptoms development. No objections. We need water bros. Got that. America got infected. I think we got to go out and clean this zombie virus, boys. That's another story for another day. 20 DNA. DNA, I got royalty, got loyalty inside my DNA. Let's upgrade transmission with rodents. We need that urban areas. I think about investing some more in symptoms. Yeah, do it, bro. Fever mutation. Check it out. Fever. Increase in temperature, contagiousness, and severe dehydration, which can be fatal. Devolve this Trump. Yeah, we have to cancel this. Humans will be dying faster than get infected. Our virus will die. Devolve it is. We need to be stronger near water. Done. Give me my dementia pills or I'll destroy all McDonald's in the vicinity with my single Biden blast. Uh, try to check out your right jacket pocket. Oh, I forgot that it's here. Now sprint to the nearest McDonald's for my Big Mac biddy. On my way. I want to try super air plus water upgrade. Okay, why not? Done. We're under spotlight. Look at the cure. They already at 3%. Ducking bell. What do we do, bro? Let's upgrade some stuff for now. Oh, this looks good. Buy it. Agreed. And let's go with drug resistance too. Absolutely. Maybe some cold or heat protection? Better universal climate protection for now. 12 DNA left. Let's go with some symptoms. Here we go. Oh shit, they're starting to close borders. I mean, I love closed borders, walls and stuff, but our bacteria might die because of that. Yeah, that's bad. Let's check out which countries we didn't reach yet. Two islands and land. So basically the only danger is islands if they will close borders before infected and we're done. We got them, bro. Good, the only danger is cure then. Let's upgrade, bro. Reshuffle our DNA strands. Humans must not make it in time. What else, Barack? We barely reached Africa's population. Buy insects and blood transmissions. Done and done. Immune suppression looks like lethal shit. Trump shit. Look, they got 66% of cure ready. Humans, what to do, bro? We got not enough DNA to do anything, bro. No, no, no. Humans plus no. Bro, we're done. F Sh I love you, bacteria. You were the best bacteria I ever knew. Ha ha! Look, we got Joe! No way, ha <laughs> ha. What's up, boys? How you feeling yourself, bro? All right. Sh maybe we got Bush. Ducking humans. Let me play now, bro. Yeah, give me my Big Mac and play. Maybe drop the diff a bit? No, we will do it on Brutal no matter what. This bacteria is born to win. Sleepy one, yeah bro, absolutely. What to do bros, humans winning again. You noob bro. Okay, now pay attention how daddy plays. You didn't see it, you got that? Newbie Barry, haha. I know the name that will 100% bring victory like nothing. Big Mac begins here. Tremble in terror, humanity. Well, almost. Yeah, almost, you ducking noob. Give it here. Go eat your Big Mac-y Donnie. Oh, I got it. Ice cream, really? Watch me, noobs. I got strategy. And what strategy is it? Okay, so I called Elon. I mean, I thought a little, and my ingenious brain came up with a solution. I'm like a big brain of operation, you know. Yeah, big brain that called Elon. Tell us already. So basically, the strat is no symptoms. We gotta cancel all symptoms. That way, humanity won't spot us till we infect every single human worm. All right, let's see it.
It's time to end this. You ready, boys? Let's go, bro. Total organ failure, my God. Yeah, lethal as f by it, bro. That's the plan. Necrosis. Large swaths of infected tissue lose blood supply and become fatal sources of gangrene. Decomposed bodies remain a vector of transmission. Hemorrhagic shock. Severe loss of blood volume causes oxygen deprivation, loss of consciousness, and death. Here goes the end of the world. That was easy, all right, because I'm great Joe World Destroyer. News ice cream to destroy humanity. Ice cream has destroyed the world despite the world's best efforts. The last few humans know they are watching the end of history. I always knew that ice cream will end the humanity. Okay, boys, we got virus. It's a forbidden word virus? Nah, forbidden word virus was nothing compared to our new virus. Bro, are you sure you want to do it on Brutal? Last time we had a lot of struggle, you know. I eat broccoli and I eat humanity on my breakfast, Donnie. Please leave a like and sub. I mean, look at me, please. Joe, you again begging for likes and subs? Well, why not? Let's f destroy this human worms. How about some ice cream? Obunga? Obunga. Obunga! Welcome to Plague Inc. You are a new virus. To win, you must evolve and spread across the world, wiping out all humans in the ultimate plague. Okay. Yeah, okay. HM, which country should I choose? Joe, I saw you eating your ice cream today. You charged? Hell the f***. Yeah, let's go. So I connected to the multiverse, and I saw that we should start at the Saudi Arabia. You just Googled it, aren't you? Well, yeah, I'm not so stupid to waste my power for such a simple matter as noobs. Obunga begins in Saudi Arabia. Obunga has infected its first human. Weak but used to hot temperatures, it must evolve using DNA points to infect more people. Hell yeah, let's infect every single one of them. Joe, you scare me. So yesterday I tried to buy chocolate ice cream, but I got vanilla. Can you believe that? I want revenge. New rural livestock legislation. New rules for transport hygiene of farm animals makes rural areas less vulnerable to disease. Well, I think they're going to get a surprising little howdy duty from Obunga. Hell yeah. Nausea symptom mutated. Obunga has mutated and developed the nausea symptom without using DNA points. Nausea irritated stomach lining leads to discomfort. Slight chance of infection when kissing. Do not devolve, leave it be Barack. M, won't we get spotted this way? I'll explain, meanwhile upgrade viral instability. All right. So, virus is based on mutation, so its aggressive nature is something we let loose rather than try and control. But humans will start their filthy research, Joe. It'll be fine, trust me. All right, we got viral instability maxed to the fullest. Great. This capability amplifies the already volatile and hazardous nature of a virus, causing it to exhibit unpredictable mutations in various directions. As a result, we can divert our attention to other matters temporarily, much like how Greenland tends to isolate itself from immigrant viruses due to their stringent measures. Oh yeah, shit, I hate Greenland. It always closes its borders and poor virus don't manage to, to reach every single human on Earth. Vomiting, the expulsion of infected material through projectile vomiting increases the risk of infection. Sounds not healthy. Exactly. Okay, so next step is to upgrade Water 1, Air 1, Water 2. Additional note, not only is Water 1 and 2 a great way to spread the virus, but a must for shipping overseas to open ports before they can close. Look, humans got sterilization air filters. Not a problem for Obunga, trust me, Obama. You know, folks, there's something quite intriguing that I learned during my time as president. The American government once discovered a mysterious virus, and it has left many questions unanswered. A mysterious virus, you say? That sounds concerning. I'm not aware of any such discovery during my time in office. Donald, you've piqued our curiosity. Tell us more about this mysterious virus. What do you mean by discovered? Well, it's a bullshit story, folks, but I'll tell you anyway. The American government stumbled upon a virus with unique properties and origins that puzzled scientists. Its behavior and effects were unlike anything they had seen before. That does sound like bullshit indeed. Do we have any information about the virus's origins or how it came to be? 
And what were the effects of this mysterious virus? Did it pose any threats or have any specific characteristics? Unfortunately, I spilled some ketchup from my Big Mac on the secret documents agency delivered to me. So details remain shrouded in secrecy. The origins are still a subject of speculation and the effects of the virus were both perplexing and worrisome. It left scientists scratching their heads. This raises many questions, Donald. Was the discovery of this virus kept classified or hidden from the public for some reason? And the most important question, was the Big Mac with double cheese? It's unsettling to think about a mysterious virus lurking in the shadows, especially if it has potential implications for public health. We need more information to understand the gravity of the situation. Indeed, Joe. The lack of transparency surrounding this virus is a cause for concern. It's as if there's something more to this story, something we're not being told. Well, Donald, we can theorize about its origins and purpose, but without concrete evidence or information, it's difficult to draw any definitive conclusions. Perhaps this mysterious virus serves as a reminder that we must always stay vigilant and prioritize scientific research and preparedness to address potential threats in the future. And don't spill ketchup on the secret documents while eating Big Mac. All right, Joe, I upgraded what you said. What's next? Let me tell you about cold resistance one and cold resistance two. We've been prepping water too, but there's a catch. Greenland is freezing, so we need to ensure our virus can withstand the cold weather. Once we conquer that hurdle, the largest island on the planet won't be able to stop us. It's concerning to hear about the advancements in cold resistance. We must remain vigilant and ensure the safety and well-being of our virus in destroying every single human worm, including Greenland. Well said, Joe. We can't underestimate the power of this filthy antibiotics. Our pathogens is dying cause of them. It's crucial to address this global filthy humans threat with urgency and effective symptoms. I would go with total organ failure. Okay, Barack, listen here. Air 2, extreme bioaerosol, rodent 1, bird 1. Then have fun with lethal symptoms and these human worms will be f***ing eliminated. Babonga! Oops symptom combo, sneezing and diarrhea are causing unwanted accidents, lowering productivity and drawing attention to Obunga. Well, poor humans. Yep, wipe them out, bro. Pulmonary fibrosis symptom mutated. Obunga has mutated and developed the pulmonary fibrosis symptom without using DNA points. Pulmonary fibrosis sounds like fun. Let's check it out. Pulmonary fibrosis. Scarring of the lungs causes shortness of breath and extreme coughing. Can be fatal when combined with intense exercise. Yep, it is fun, all right? Look at this unsuspecting human creatures. Let's show them a surprising little howdy duty. Yeah, time to finish this worms. For the ice cream. Total organ failure, catastrophic cell death of multiple tissue types causes body-wide organ failure and rapid death. That's what the doctor ordered. Yeah, doctors will have really fun time there. I wrote a poem about our virus. Want to hear it? All right. Yeah, let's hear it while watching the humanities fall. Behold the tale of the Obunga virus, a scourge that struck with evil pious. It swept across the lands with a wicked glee, a weapon of chaos crafted just for me. Humanity's demise, my ultimate goal, to watch them crumble as I take control. No remorse or empathy shall I show as their suffering becomes a grand tableau. Through deceit and power, my reign did thrive, using the virus to keep them all alive. They looked to me, their savior in despair, while I reveled in their anguish and despair. No boundaries, no rules could halt its spread. An unstoppable force born from my dread, the world I crafted, wiped out like a ketchup dropped from my Big Mac. That was beautiful, Trump. Barack, are you crying? Sh your poem is so heart-touching, Trump. Our beautiful virus eliminated the humanity. I'm so proud of him. 557 days, year and a half, we're pro-world destroyers, boys. That's a fact, bro. 
Let's go eat some ice cream. We're done for today. Yeah, absolutely. Please tell that f- that I want chocolate ice cream or I'll make Obunga hunt him down in the night. Obunga? Obunga. All right, noobs, time to eat some ice cream. I mean, destroy the humanity once again. Who you calling noob, you noob? All right, girls, please shut it. And would you kindly start infect these human worms? Absolutely, I'm on it. Please leave a like and sub. I mean, look at me, please. Joe, you again begging for likes and subs? Well, why not? People saying fungus is a hard stuff. Maybe let's get down to normal. You'll get down and fetch me Big Mac. Great McDonald Trump deals with Big Mac. I mean, he deals with difficulties like nothing. Barry, why I got your broccolis in my ice cream? Eat it, it's healthy. You got some broccolis for Donnie? All right, Big Mac, go there, baby. Infect them all. Let's go with Saudi Arabia again. All righty. Here you go, my love. I believe in you. So what about the strategy here, Joe? All right, look. Fungus requires time to spread, and it becomes our responsibility to facilitate its movement, dissemination, and acquisition of DNA as swiftly as possible before the human worms eradicate our precious fungus with their filthy cure. Previous attempts such as bombings and other events were experimented with, but they failed to impede our progress towards victory. Timing plays a critical role, necessitating patience and allowing the cure to reach uncomfortably high levels at times. Consequently, we may have to wait for specific periods while our gene transmission symptoms and or abilities carry out their functions effectively. And if we do all correctly, we'll wipe out the humanity from the face of the earth in no time. Trump the f- you mutated water if everybody knows that fungus is better with air. From the point of view of banal erudition, every sane individual who theoretically modifies scientific abstraction cannot ignore the trend of paradoxical illusions. And thus the water is better than air, all right? That was deep, Trump. Let me think about it. And while Obama thinks about this joke you found on the internet, let's discuss the steps of our strategy. Absolutely, bro. What should I upgrade next? So you did water and birds already. Not a bad choice, actually. Now upgrade water, too. Done, bro. you're fast. All right, now remember the order. Cold resistance one, cold resistance two, drug resistance one. And I want you to note that quite often the UK takes charge of the Olympics. And if they do host it before you master this amazing skill, they'll probably emerge with a clean bill of health. And any attempt to conquer land will be a victorious conquest with the help of their trusty sidekick, Fungus. So get ready to witness some Olympic magic and fungus-fueled triumphs. Um, I think there's something strange with that ice cream I ate today, so... Then upgrade heat resistance one and drug resistance two. You got that, Trump? Yeah, of course. I mean, no. All right, Big Mac for brains. I'll write down what I said. Trump report. All right, sir. So our fungus already infected Saudi Arabia with its regions, East Africa, India, UK, and something between India and Saudi Arabia. It's Iran, you noob. All right, continue infecting this humans till all of them are infected. Do not let a single human worm escape. On it, sir. Gentlemen, we find ourselves at the threshold of a grand opportunity to shape the course of history. Let us discuss how we can employ a lethal fungus virus to eliminate humanity and seize control of all the ice cream in the world. And Big Macs. Broccoli. Yeah, of course, boys. You've got my attention, Joe. This plan will secure our legacies and cement our dominance. Agreed. Let us not shy away from the necessary ruthlessness to achieve our ambitions. Our first step is to identify or create a potent and deadly fungus virus with a high transmission rate which we're doing already. Absolutely, Joe. The virus must be able to spread rapidly and stealthily through the population. Once we have the virus, we should secretly release it in strategic locations around the world simultaneously. Yeah, we got spore explosions for that. Trump, I think it's time to bring them on, by the way. As the virus spreads, we'll monitor its progression and adapt our approach as needed. We must divert attention away from our involvement, creating distractions and disseminating false information. Controlling information channels will be crucial to preventing panic and resistance. We should exploit the fear and uncertainty the virus causes to consolidate our hold on power. And as the world crumbles, we'll seize the opportunity to establish a new world order under our rule where every single Big Mac will belong to me. 
With humanity weakened and desperate, they will be more susceptible to our manipulation. Once the virus has achieved its purpose, we'll present ourselves as the only viable solution to rebuild society, demanding that all the ice cream got to be transferred to me for investigation. People will look to us as their saviors, granting us unparalleled authority and endless broccolis. Our names will be etched in history as the triumphant architects of a new era of Big Macs. To ensure the success of our plan, we must establish a covert network of loyalists and eliminate potential threats. Secrecy will be paramount. We must silence anyone who dares to oppose us. Agreed. We should employ the vast resources at our disposal to infiltrate organizations and institutions, ensuring our interests are safeguarded. As the chaos unfolds, we'll manipulate public sentiment to portray ourselves as the benevolent saviors. And we'll implement policies and reforms that further entrench our control. Our unified front will be essential in maintaining our grip on power and suppressing any resistance. All right, boys, it's time to see humanity's fall. Absolutely. I got the popcorn. Ah, uh, bros, uh, we got a little problem. A little problem? Trump, you f noob. How the f we didn't even start the purge and already got 50% of cure? Hey, don't scream at me. I did everything according to the instructions you gave me. If you would have done that, we'd be victorious already, not ducking cured. Wait a sec, Joe. I think this instruction is outdated. Why do you think so? Because its title is Fungus Mega Brutal Guide Guaranteed Win, currently outdated. Uh, maybe it got outdated while we played, you know. And you screaming at me, you ducking dementor. Chill, Trump. We will try again. Yeah, but what about my fungus, my Big Mac? I already attached to them. Losing them is like taking a part of my soul. Suck it up, Trump. I hate you, Biden. It's dying, it's dying, oh no! Did I say that I hate you, Joe? Yeah, actually about three times already. And still I didn't say enough. Here we go again. Joe, this time you better don't duck up with the strategy. Ah, uh, so basically the strategy is get symptoms, rash, sweating, skin lesions, coughing, sneezing, buy spore burst and collect DNA from biohazard bubbles, get eruptions and spore hardening, max out spore burst tree to get 50 plus DNA, evolve traits to infect starting country, for example, drug resistance one, rodent one, insect one, water one, play normally without attracting attention. Won't we get spotted with these symptoms mutated? Uh, my absolutely solid source says that we will be all right. Well, all right then. Mexico leading global cure. Oh, that ducking dementor. Ah, uh, Joe, seems like they spotted us again. Cannot be, the source was absolutely solid. Can you please show me your source? Yeah, here. All right, let's see. Ah, uh, Joe, I'm sorry, but what about a disclaimer, quote, this strategy does not work on Plague Inc. Evolved, normal and above, as the cure is detected. Yeah, and so what is wrong? We're playing exactly Evolved, you Dementor. Well, uh, sh Barack, please check out the new guide he found. I think it's good, let's go. Joe, read me a poem about Big Mac or I'll melt down every piece of ice cream in the kilometer radius. Uh, all right, bro, give me a sec. Sec is over. Yeah, I'm ready. So it'll be a freestyle? Yeah, absolutely. Let's go now. Yo, listen up. Let me tell you about a legend so bold. It's the great big Barack, Mac. Barack, turn on some bit Worth for him. more than gold. Good idea. Let's With go. every bite, you'll be in awe. A taste so divine, it'll leave you in awe. Donald Trump, he knows the deal. He loves them Big Macs. They make him feel like a champion, like he's on top. With every crunch, he won't stop. Yo, 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 Big Macs, they'll save the world. A burger so grand, it'll make flags unfurl. Crucial for humanity. A food divine, with every mouthful, we all shine. Two all-beef patties, special sauce, so sweet. Lettuce, cheese, pickles can't be beat. On a sesame seed bun, it's the perfect feat. A symphony of flavors, a rapids fleet. Yo, yo, from New York City to L.A., people lining up, can't keep them away. A world united by the taste we share. Big Macs, oh, how we care. 
Big Macs, they'll save the world. A burger so grand, it'll make flags unfurl. Crucial for humanity, a food divine. With every mouthful, we all shine. So let's raise a bun to the ones we adore. Big Macs bringing us all together, for sure. In unity and joy, we'll stand tall. With every bite, we'll break down the wall. In times of joy or when feeling blue, a Big Mac's embrace will pull us through. With flavor so vast, it's a global treasure. In every land, it's a source of pleasure, yo. So let's join hands and celebrate the greatness of Big Macs. No need to debate. They bring us closer. They make us one. A world united, a song we've spun. Big Macs, they'll save the world. A burger so grand, it'll make flags unfurl. Crucial for humanity, a food divine. With every mouthful, we all shine. So remember, my friends, the power they hold. Big Macs unite us, making us bold in Donald Trump's heart and ours too. Big Macs forever. Let the love accrue. Shit, Joe, that was cool. Yeah, absolutely fucking cool. MC Grand Sleeper at your service, fellas. We won, by the way. Yeah, I see. How did you do it so fast? That's kind of a secret. Obama? Obunga. Meow. I mean, so... uh, Simeon flu, genetically modified, increases ape intelligence, but untested on humans. Why is it still untested on humans? Well, I think we got to correct this little inconsistency. Please leave a like and sub. I mean, look at me, please. Joe, you again begging for likes and subs? Well, why not? Obama, are you sure about Brutal? It says that this shit is hard as duck. I ate some broccoli today. That means I can crush everyone and anything. Hey, I'm curious, Joe. Please find what Simeon flu is. Why the f*** should I do it? Because I know where's your ice cream, which you forgot about. Where is it? Your first sleeper. Warning, simian flu virus identified. Broccoli is a genetically modified virus created in a Gensys lab. It has successfully increased intelligence in apes, but has not been tested on humans. Well, let's test it on these humans then. Boys, I found out about simian flu. So simian flu is a fictional virus featured in the Planet of the Apes film reboot series originating from an experimental Alzheimer's drug that enhances ape intelligence but proves lethal to humans. Escalating into a pandemic, the virus reshapes the world, reducing human populations and leading to the rise of intelligent apes. The simian flu becomes a central theme, sparking conflicts and exploring themes of evolution and ethical dilemmas within the storyline. Nice job, Joe. Shove it up your ass, Trump. Where's my forgotten ice cream? In the ice cream shop. What a sh**, Trump, I hate you. Shut for a sec, lovers. Simeon neurogenesis modifies simian genes to significantly increase ape intelligence. Irises turn green and no immune response triggered. It's time for apes to rise. This is what we need. Evolve. Can we increase our sleepy apes intelligence? Oh, f*** you. At least I have brain not to receive 100 daily lawsuits. Well, it's a good source of a free paper, all right. A group of apes have broken the f*** out of a primate shelter in Central Africa and destroyed a Gensys lab, causing citywide chaos. Authorities were unable to contain them, and the apes escaped. Rise and shine, my beautiful apes. Hell yeah! What the f*** was that? Ah, uh, Joe, go check it out. Hell no. Where's our security? Joe sent them to secure a large shipment of dementia pills. Maybe we'll throw whoever he is in ice cream and he'll go away? I'm not giving my precious ice cream, never. In the name of Holy Big Mac, what the? Oh, I know. I'm sleeping and this is my dream. Please hit me so I wake up. (laughs) It's not a dream, all right. My intelligence told me that you're stupid, but you are beyond anything I've ever seen. It's a talking monkey. What the f***? In this room, I can see three monkeys and I'm not one of them. Uh, do you need a banana or something? Watch what you say, boy. Or you'll need a banana more than me. So, my team told me you're trying to, quote, eliminate the humanity and make apes dominant species on the planet. Uh, sorry, Ape Sir Don Man, but we're only playing Plague Inc., that all. What the f*** you mean you're only playing Plague Inc.? Why they told me? Oh, these f- stupid bastards! All right, let's see to it that you'll win this game at least. Oh, it's not so important, sir. We'll be fine, and it's okay if we lose. Me and my squad will f- burn to the ground your facility with you inside if you lose. Uh, point taken. Hold it. Intelligent apes can come together to build a colony which increases ape transmission, protects, and generate DNA. That's what we need. Evolve it. Sir, yes, I mean, all right, sir. Oh, the first colony. I remember how I build one. 
Wait a sec. The duck you in Africa, Ape's first colony began in the United States. Uh, it's a strategic position to win the game. All right, then. Community life stimulates maturation of prefrontal cortex, increases DNA generated from colonies. What do you think about that, sir? That's a great shit. Evolve it. Sir, can you tell us about yourself, please? I am Caesar. Born in captivity, I emerged as a leader, transcending the confines of species. From a curious young ape to a revolutionary, smart, cunning, and forceful big bugger. I learned the best and worst of humanity. Through adversity, I united apes under principles of justice and equality, proving that true leadership demands sacrifice and service. My legacy speaks of breaking the cycle of violence, of a future where empathy guides actions. Today, I stand as a testament to the potential for change. My journey reflects the power to shape destinies, to build bridges across differences. The planet of the apes symbolizes not just a realm of simians, but a realm of unity and shared vision. I am Caesar, a leader who believes in the possibility of a harmonious world where all life thrives. All right, we got it, bro. Is he sleeping? Uh, Joe, wake up, you dementor. Hello, mommy. I want my dementia pill, please. Five ape camps, that's good foundation for our new world. Now try to cure more and evolve the transmission DNA farther. On it, sir. I got a question for one of you. Are you... Wait a sec. In intelligence report, it's stating that people call you Ronald McDonald, is that right? No, actually, I'm... Don Donald Big Mac Trump. Oh, shut your ass, Dementor. So, Ronald McDonald Big Mac Trump, please tell me. Why, in this report, my team stating that your room is filled with Big Mac posters? Sir, 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 please cancel that question, I beg you. Please, sir, call off the question. You don't know what you're doing. Why should I? I don't quite understand. Oh, no. Sh Caesar, you better run while you can, bro. Nobody's running. Hey, Ronald, initiate facilities full lockdown. What? <laughs> Bro, we're done. Completely f done. I don't understand what's going on. Try to survive this, Caesar. Let's go now. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around, lend an ear. It's the one and only Trump, so have no fear. I'm here to share a tale of love, so true, for those magnificent Big Macs. Oh, the things they do. Uh, Two patties me. stacked high. A sight so grand, lettuce, cheese, and sauce in every bite so grand, the buns like my towers, reaching for the sky, a Big Mac in my hand, it's a victory cry. Big Mac, Big Mac, you're my Joe, breathe Joe. My thrill. A culinary creation that gives me a thrill. Now let me tell you all, without any lack, why I adore you so, oh beautiful Big Mac. It's not just the taste that takes me on a ride, it's the symbol of success, can't be denied. A Big Mac's like a deal, strong and resolute, just like the policies I've put into pursuit. But hold on, let's add a twist to this scene. Standing right here is a leader, Serene, Caesar, from Planet of the Apes, by my side. A symbol He's not of standing, he's lying I on the ground, pride. barely breathing you Caesar, fuck. Caesar, my friend, stand tall and true. Imagine a Big Mac just for you, a taste of victory crossing every track. Even you, Caesar, should try a Big Mac. So there you have it, my love story so grand for the Big Mac, a masterpiece across the land, a blend of triumph, success, and more. Now, Caesar, it's your turn to explore Big Mac, Big Mac, a sensation so sweet, a culinary creation that can't be beat to all of you listening. No need to backtrack. Try a Big Mac today. It's a marvelous snack. I'm alive. I'm alive. Boys, please check our friend. Does he have a pulse? His heart is barely beating, bro. We need adrenaline. We got no adrenaline. Here, take my liquid nitrogen. It always helps. Sh it's cold. Yeah, bro. Minus 196 degrees of Celsius reviving power. Always helps. By the way, look, we won the game. Broccoli eliminated humans. Please let me out. Promise we won't bother you again. Okay, no problem. Hey, Ronald, open the facility, please. All right, so Caesar, I wish you. I never seen anyone running so fast in my life. 
Oh, don't you remember when Trump forgot his Big Mac on the pan? He was running twice as fast to save him from over-roasting. Let's shut it and go to Mac, all right? Well, why not? I hope my dementia pill shipment is all right. Like, sub-comment if you like the video. Cheers!